Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back at surviving as a trader. And of course we got a home established, but we need to upgrade it some more. So let's get started. Alright, so last we left off is creating this nifty little home. Not looking too bad. I mean, not looking the great that great either, but not too bad. <laughs> So here we can add, I just want to add a little color to it. So we need to upgrade this. So we, we definitely need more materials here, but we know it is airtight, which is perfect for what we need this to be. But of course we need ice in here um, and things like that. But there's a simple little home to kind of get started initially. Well, we still need to get assembler, refineries and all that jazz to sustain ourselves. Um, so let's head over to the unknown signal first to see what we can gather we should have gathered enough materials to make the wheels and also <laughs> the suspensions but we didn't so that's also a problem an ongoing problem that we're gonna have here but I'm just gonna throw in as much as I can in here just to make start making them so we know what we need to continue to make the wheels and the suspensions and such we do have this one here as well, which I think we can get up and running as a nice little buggy rover. Except the cockpit is using the buggy cockpit, which is not the best because it's not going to be airtight, which is don't need it to be because we have the oxygen tank. But of course, having a nice airtight seal with the regular cockpit, it's much, much better, much more convenient as well. All right. Unknown signal, we got a lot of time, so should be okay to get to it. We're still on a drifty like course with this rover. We don't necessarily we necessarily need to be. We can add a lot more um what do we call it onto here? Friction and establish the front two wheels to turn so we can actually get some turning going. That is something we can possibly do. Alright, so getting to this unknown signal wasn't the funnest, I should say. <laughs> Very bumpy and flew a little bit, which was an, is not something I want to do with a rover. <laughs> because of the way it's going to crash. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, unknown signal, is this the one that flies with a sensor? It is. And I swear I hit the, the button, but it didn't allow me to do that. And it just broke its leg. I think. Eh, it didn't really break much. The thruster we need. <laughs> That's worth it. We got some pumpkin. <laughs> we got some weird stuff coming from these unknown signals. And of course, where they're coming from, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that's done with, and since we're close by, I think I'm gonna go ahead and check out the next abandoned settlement that's only a kilometer away. So that's gonna be kind of nifty, and might be able to net us some materials to upgrade this rover. Now the problem, same with what we had before, is do I wanna get too close to it and get the chance of getting shot down, um, especially with the rover. So here about 800 away and we're not getting shot. Do I risk it? We can try. Alright, so let's just moving. 700. Once we hit 600, that's when it get that's when we can tell if it's gonna be an enemy or not. <laughs> and we're not getting shot, so we should be okay. Is this part of it or is this a rock that always looks like Kind of like a turret system. That's a rock. <laughs> Why do I keep thinking that it's like a turret system? So let's. What's going on with this turret here? And I think this is the same kind of establishment as before here. Yeah, we got a vehicle here. Same thing. We can scrap this one so we can upgrade our rover instead. Or do we bring this one home too? 
<laughs> it'd be nice to bring it home, I guess. Maybe. Um, but we can scrap the materials that we need, uh, especially to make our wheels and suspensions. <laughs> so we get a bit of an upgrade. And if we need to, we'll come back and kind of, you know, get rid of everything else from here. Uh, I'm inclined to just leave it alone for now. Because it's not doing too much to us anyway. So we should be okay. And of course we can get rid of all the shipping containers. But we're not. Ooh. That kind of scared me for a second. I didn't even know they put that here. Okay. So there's a hydrogen engine in here. A large one. A large grid one. So that's a lot of materials. And it's great. Because if anything. We can make one as well. We need the power. But we're, we should be fine. We're running hydrogen. No, we're running turbines, so some free energy in an essence. But of course, I think what would be better would be a solar panel system. But at least we're able to upgrade our rover here to have actual wheels. <laughs> so we could just run this whole thing with wheels instead of running it with the thrusters. The thrusters we can keep on still, but we can keep it on as an emergency thrusting um, that we need to use and maybe we add them downwards that's an idea oh we're running out of batteries yeah because of the thrusters basically so our wheels are all set actually so let's 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 have our wheels actually do something now so i'm gonna add the friction back um so we should be set okay speed limit i'm probably gonna be 120 i think that should be more than enough and our turning radius i kind of only want these to turn so let's turn these off in terms of steering and our thrusters themselves let's just turn them off and if we really need to turn them back on we can just toggle on off on our um toolbar but our left and right not gonna do too much but i think we should put downward thrust in. Um, at this point so when we fly up we at least we can gently um, land instead of hit the ground super super hard and also with adding wheels we save a lot more power because thrusters do tend to use up a lot of power okay so this was the hydrogen engine in here Ooh, this thing is kind of looks dug in a bit that was a drill I'm not going to use a drill but you can use the materials and we're kind of running out of space now. <laughs> so we're going to have to make a rover, a bigger rover. So what we got here, some windows, so that's nice. And do we need this? We could use the parts. And that should be it. All right, so we'll leave the turret alone. Um, we kind of see what's in here. It does drop the rep a little bit which is not something I really care to do I don't think any of these containers really have anything so kind of shooting myself in the foot here oh okay so there is stuff in here <laughs> hmm I mean, same with these things I'm just losing more and more rep here by doing this which is not something I really 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 care to do but not much we can see in terms of what's in here. I would love to drive this off, but I don't think we can anyways. I think this thing is stuck. Convert it to ship, but we can't. It's stuck on the ground. <laughs> so that's... Mm, I guess we can scrap it then. Should we? I guess we could, but then... We have room for all the materials. And if we do scrap it, we do lose a lot of... Um, rep also is that a battery there yeah that's battery yeah i think we lose a lot of rep this way too so maybe we don't scrap it there's a lot of small cargo containers in here too which may or may not have anything in there that's worth even taking out yeah not necessarily much in there anyway so maybe we don't do that we could use the large steel tube so i'm gonna scrap the wheel back here and we could scrap it from here as well 
I'm just gonna steal the large field too, because that's what we need. The rest we can kind of leave alone. I'm not worried too much about it. I am curious to see what's in this thing here. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's not too bad. We've got getting more and more little bits of loot. And we have one of these back at home, so we're not too worried about that. So that's done. Um, the last piece is this cockpit, I guess. And, oh, a rifle. That is nifty. The lights we can use as well because it has the bulletproof glass that we need. Let's take it all with us. And I think we're good. Yeah, we should be alright. I'll leave the rest for... Yeah, we don't need the rest. I don't want to take too, too much because we don't have that much space anyways. Because we need to do a bit of upgrading. Our UBS is there. We could look at it, but we don't need to right now. We should head back, which is our Y30, our home and hub. So let's head back there. And then potentially go back to the economy base, see what we can trade for. We made it back home. Uh, curious, do we have enough materials to establish um, a cargo container? I think we do based on the metal grid. So let's just see what we can do here. I'm going to put a cargo. Mm, we don't need this. It could be a junction. I don't know why I put that there. Okay, so we should be able to put a small cargo container here. I think so. Yep, perfect. So we have a base of operations where we can actually store stuff now, so that's good. We can store a whole bunch of stuff, which we need to do because I have a whole bunch of weapons in my inventory and a lot of food, it looks like. I think we should move the survival kit in there. That would be the smart thing to do, I believe. <laughs> so if we crash, at least we have a place to respawn and not get destroyed out here so that's going to change the look and feel of the rover a bit but we're going to have to update it anyways so the survival kit we just added right over here and we are good all right so instead of the survival kit on our rover what we can do is add the another car container back here the first let me strip this a little bit because I do not like the look of this because it looks like a chariot okay so we can update this a little bit in different ways so I'm going to scrap the O2H2 back here. It's going to retrofit it right here with the two spots or the two ports. Like so. Or we could move it closer. I think we're going to have to move it closer. So I'm going to get rid of the gyro for now. So we'll throw in the O2H2 right over here. So establish a connection with the cockpit. And we have room for a secondary cargo container right here. And it's going to be the medium cargo container. Right there. Alright, so that is turning out to be great because we now have additional storage. And we can update this thing a little bit as well at the same time. So, we need to change this out. It's looking decent. We, we should move the thrusters for sure. I really want to move that. Okay. So 
the battery we want to kind of protect as well Oops. we could protect it with some half blocks if we have to and i generally like to use these or this star right here to kind of protect it a little bit it's not significant but it's it's enough to help in some form or fashion <laughs> And we could give ourselves a little more protection up here as well. Just in case. If we do flip over. At least we can break a little bit of the top um, steel plates. And hopefully not break the cargo containers. And I think if we're worried about, about power. We should be able to add a secondary battery right over here. As much as I want to add the warfare battery. Which looks a lot better than a traditional battery. Um, we're probably going to have to use the traditional battery just to match up what that one looks like. So we should have more than enough power cells. I think we have 40 power cells from scavenging. Yep, we have 46 actually, so that's good. So that's going to give us additional more power just in case. Um, we could add a solar panel or two here, I think. Solar panels take... Eight solar cells. So we had ten. So we're going to make one right now. We don't need to make it now. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. The gyro is something we should be making, which is something we got rid of, and we should really place this somewhere safe as well. Um, hmm. Don't have much spots for it on. Unfortunately, but we need to get rid of these thrusters too. And of course we can add some lights so probably offset lights which does use the bulletproof glass i believe it does yes it does which we probably have a very limited amount of 20 and eh, it's not too bad <laughs> All right, and I think we can weld up. Uh, we need 30 for the cockpit. Let's leave that alone. Um, the front is not looking like amazing, but we can always edit that somehow. Right, just add a bit of extra design nothing much nothing we really needed to do but it might not add additional look to it and it's not too too bad it's it's decent <laughs> not the greatest obviously but you know it looks okay and it's functional so we should be good to go in terms of the thrusting power I think we could put our thrusters back where it was initially, which was right over here. And that shouldn't toast anything down. Yeah, it's not toasting anything. And we'll put another one right over here. And we want to make sure to have these off as well because we don't want to kill and waste all our batteries. That's off. Save some batteries there. Got lights, got battery, an extra battery. We protect our battery just a tiny bit right there. Uh, we definitely need to protect it up front in case we get shot.
All right, so here is the updated look of the rover. <laughs> it took a little bit of time, not too much, by adding a few little strappy looking things on here. I think I could fix this up a little bit better. <laughs> But I have the battered armor look in the very top here just to kind of make it look a little bit better. And also at the same time to give it a little more protection. Um, and this gave it a little bit more shape to our initial rover. That's going to protect the back. We got a little cylindrical thing going on here to protect the wheels in the, in the back right there. Um, protect the batteries with the half blocks. And we have a front little design looking like thing over here, which I think we could have placed a block here to make it look a little bit better. But not much we can find here. I think we just put, I mean, just put like a, oh, that's going to look terrible too. Uh, we could do this just to give it a little bit of protection on the suspension. Not by much at all, but covers it up a little bit. And I think we could fix this by extending it out a little bit more. So I'm going to do that on both sides. One here, one here. One here, one here. And that's looking decent. Batteries on here. Not so, I should have, I should have built everything a little bit to the side so it doesn't look as crazy. But it works out. I left that open so we can utilize it. I think we can use some kind of window system, these right here, like the graded window system. And I think we could place it right outside, can we? Ye mm, no. Yes and no, we need a girder to do that, but I don't think it's necessary. We'll leave it as that. Alright, so there we go. We have a finished rover. It's the respawn pod. Extend it out a little bit. Add another battery and we have a decent little cockpit going on as well and airtight and everything like that so we are good batteries is in a little bit of an odd spot which is fine <laughs> um if we really really wanted to we should add or we could add a thruster right over here right so that kind of gives it a little more um pull uh thrust up if we need it Especially if we hit a ramp or whatever, but I think two should be more than enough for now. So we'll just leave it as that. And let's see if I can. I think we're gonna waste a lot of oxygen if we go in and out here. So I'm gonna avoid putting ice in here for now. We could put a oxygen farm, which I don't think we have the mats for, because that's gonna take a lot. I think twenty large steel tubes, a hundred. Bulletproof glass. Don't have that, so I'm not gonna do that anytime soon. But rover is looking decent, which is ideal. <laughs> we will leave that as is, and I think we're good. I'm gonna have to drink some water and everything like that as well, because look at look at how that's going. So, gotta remember not to throw all my food and stuff in here. And get the money as well, the credits. And rations here. Our chips. So, we're living on chips for the most part. For the longest time. We'll leave these here because we could always farm it later down the line. But I think we might have enough to make a kitchen now. And we are off because we need glass. Great. <laughs> and we spend most of our glass elsewhere as well. Okay. We we can leave everything here. Let's just throw some more stuff. We're going to keep one pistol with us. We don't need all these other things. Alright, so we're good here. Uh, Sleep-wise, we are good. Food-wise, we're not. So we're going to go into our cockpit system and munch on some things and the rotating gyro looks pretty cool right up front <laughs> um not very bright yeah, it's kind of bright up front so we're good okay let's just spend the time to kind of situate ourselves by eating and drinking so let's drink the clan cola that we have left um let's let's dwindle some things down so we can drink the, the cola uh the coffee was that the cola 
Yeah, the coffee. And that should increase our sleep, I think. Yeah, that increase our sleep and water at the same time. Water's at 82, we're okay. Uh, we're gonna eat the rations. And of course, we're gonna eat our chips. And that brings us above 50, which is perfect. Now, let's stack a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, we're at 100. Even better. Let's just take one more drink and get to go. So, we are on chips and sparkling water diet for now. Okay. With a thruster, two thrusters. Turn it on. It's enough to pull us up. Okay. That's perfect, so we can use utilize that if we fly up a ramp so we can slowly land instead of land extremely, extremely hard. So that would be much, much ideal, much more ideal than just dropping really, really hard. Okay, so back to the station, should we go? Or unknown signal first? I think unknown signal is going to have to be first. So let's head over there. All right, so here at the unknown signal, what we got here? Money, grinder, which we already have. So that's okay, not too bad. Well, just grab this for parts. And then off we go. Although we should have brought a lot of stuff with us just in case we could trade it and sell it. Uh, don't know exactly what we could trade or sell anyways, but... Hmm. Eh. All right, let's go back to... We don't have to go back to a base. Let's go to the economy station to see what's there if we have we can always pick up the acquisition and bounce back and forth to trade back but I don't even think we have enough materials <laughs> that would allow us to do that anyway so let's just head to the station see what we could trade for and as you see here I'm utilizing the thrusters that we have to slowly land instead of crashing when we when we need to All right, we made it to the base, and if we had to load up a lot of stuff, we do need to connect into a connector. So that's the biggest issue that I might run into down the line. So it's good enough for the food and water, for the most part. There still aren't ingots in here, which is great, but I think we need more than that. Oh, look, meat. <laughs> do we want meat? Huh. We do need some nickel as well, which is quite expensive. I think we're good to not deal with that. We can hop in and do some contracts if we need to. Definitely can't get explosives. Canvas, we could probably make 12. No, actually, no, we probably can't because that requires something other than iron, I think. Yep, so we can't really get much out of that. And we can do a search if we want to. We don't want to do one that's too, too far. Let's, one, let's do a mid-tier one. 28? Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Let's take that contract. Let's do a quick little run. And it looks like a storm is coming again. Every time we come here, it's a storm. So I'm not sure why. That makes it so much harder to do anything. All right, so this was not too bad. 5km kilometers away. And we definitely don't have, you know, a lot of mats <laughs> to trade right now. But we do need some money um, to trade for food and things like that too. So that's what we're going to have to do here. And whatever this storm is, I can't see squat. <laughs> this, that was, that's terrible. Alright, so 
so we are 700 meters away right over here or 750 is the deviation do we see anything not really so what I like to do once again drive right across it first see if we can spot the light and then we'll crisscross around later if we need to And it's right here. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay. So we have gotten some decent ones. Here's another tricky thing. Well, here's the little thing I'm curious about now. I'm going to head back to... Actually, no. Let's go explore this A13 if we haven't been there yet. And head back to Y30, which is our home base. So why don't we add a searchlight, actually? <laughs> a searchlight would probably help pick up the search um, to search the light little ships I think right if it if it detects it we're gonna give that a shot later that definitely is an interesting idea I think so I'm gonna put on the searchlight later on detect small grid and it should pick up those items so now that makes search contracts kind of worth it so we got 32 um, space credits now. So that's good. Now at least we can still buy stuff like nickel, which I should buy before I head here, before it gets all rotated in, t in terms of the store. But since this is only two kilometers away, we might as well get here. I think I haven't gone here. I feel like I have though. So that's going to be an issue once I get there and everything's looted. All right, here we go. So this is... Y13, not getting shot at, which is great, I think. Oh, here, we haven't been here, so that's a little different. I see turrets all over the place, which is a little scary. <laughs> so there's one turret right here. Okay, so this is quite the operation. Probably should have stopped by here and made a base, because this looks a little bit better. But all these things look to be deactivated yep they're all deactivated that looks like a little barn with some hay and everything like that what is this all about what is this Ooh, oxygen farm oh too bad it wasn't the whole entire thing but <laughs> it does add a little bit to it let's loot the freight here some batteries that's good what else is there turrets this thing is not operational because it's on the ground and stuck. But it still has batteries, it looks like. You can merge block the batteries and take it. That's a that's something we could do. But it's too bad this thing's down into the ground. Otherwise, I would have just taken it. Uh, ooh, looks like a medium car container. Must be hiding some good goodies here. What you got? Eh, some glass. That works out. Should probably scrap this whole entire thing. Should I? Mm, don't really care to. <laughs> Obviously we should because there's a lot of parts. But let's see how much we can fill up first. So here... Ooh, here's another small cargo container which probably... I'm not sure if it's going to hold anything. So let's see if we can rebuild it really quick. No, I don't have the mats for it. Yeah, I don't have the mats for it. What is this? This is a rail. So let's just grind it down and see if it drops anything. Interesting. It did. Some glass, some girders. Nothing too crazy. What is this? Passageway. That's a lot of interior plates. That's good. Um, and this is a basic ooh, basic assembler. Interesting. Let's scrap that. And leave that alone. What's in here? More power cells. This is good. Probably make a battery for the home base soon. What's in the lockers? Ooh, solar panels. We need those. And that's done scrapping. 
Here's a bed. We'll scrap the bed. I'm afraid in here and nothing useful. Probably not scrap that because it's killing the <laughs> reputation here, which is not something I really want to do. Alright, we got a little more bulletproof glass, which is great. Good take from the turrets, I think. Which would give us more ammo if there's ammo in it. Uh, that th There was no ammo in that one. <laughs> What's in here? Alright, so I'm on this one. Which is the MR50A. Which I think that gives us a decent amount there too. Hmm. Alright, what's in here? Steel plates, interior, computers, computers we could take. Um, we might as well take everything here. There's like the hay barrels and such. What are these? Steel catwalks, which only one tier plates on here. We'll leave it here. We don't need to do that. To take that, um, turbine, 20 tier plates left in there. Yeah, it's not much left in here at all. Alright, so that's fine. I think we looted most of the stuff that we need to there. Yeah. Should be okay. There's uh more stuff on this side, so let's just see what it is. It's the same thing, I think. Yes, yeah, same thing. Alright, cool. So we got a decent amount of materials. Uh, we could further scrap this thing down. Might as well. I like I like these little bars. I'm gonna steal that idea. <laughs> And we're good. Okay, we could grab this for the glass. The rest of steel plates. Steel plate, I'm not too worried about. Interior plates, uh, not too worried about either, but might as well just take it. Alright, we're good. Do we want to scrap the rest of this thing? Uh, it's not much left in here. I'm just going to take a little bit of it, if anything. Oh. There's a rifle in there. Interesting. <laughs> uh, not the best rifle, the M20. Alright, there's an old H2. Oh, is there ice in here? That would be useful. There is. And a bottle. Another hydrogen bottle. Alright, so that's actually worth it. <laughs> Ice, very hard to come by if you don't dig, so I am glad I stopped by and grabbed it from this thing. Now I got two bottles, which is awesome to fill up, which is going to quickly burn out <laughs> my oh, oh my my ice too, so that's also a bad thing. Alright, what else is left in this thing that we can scrap? The batteries we'll leave alone. There are actually timers in here. I don't know what it does. There's a remote control. Which we can scrap. Batteries would be useful to take, to be honest. Find a way to merge it onto our rover so we can recharge our batteries a little bit. 100% <laughs> not necessary, but I mean, would be somewhat helpful. Okay, so if we did really want to get this here, we can put a merge block, I think. Make a big merge block or even a small one. Either one works fine, I think. That's not merge block. Use a big one and line it up there. So if we put a block right there, we can throw a large one here. And we can find a way to attach that onto our rover, potentially. Or maybe we should have put it on this side because I think we're in a bit of a slope. And if anything, we use a small one to connect instead. But I think we should be fine using this one. Or maybe even a connector. 
Hmm. Is it high enough to do a connector? So, our rover is a little bit on the high side, I think, right? In terms of connector, it would be two blocks up, if anything. This one is... Yeah, we have to put it up here. Okay, so that's that's a possibility as long as we add in a few blocks. I think we should be good. So if I add it up this way, we might be able to take the charge off of these batteries at least. And better than merging. Merging onto, I think that became a static grid. <laughs> that would be a bit on the troublesome side. Right, it is time to add <laughs> a connector here because it, it's additional space too and it can use it to charge up. So uh, it could be useful. And we're missing steel plates and motors to make this happen. So that's that's fun. Yep, nope, we have it inside. All right, we're good. All right, so let's see if we could back up into this. I think I lined it up. I mean, I think I have it a little higher than the rover at the moment, but should be okay. That's not too bad at all. So switch lock here. Nine. And where's the small batteries? They're all access denied, so I can't take the battery from them, can I? What if I did a recharge? Is that going to recharge? Is that taking the batteries out of it? I think it is. <laughs> so that kind of works, right? Because if we can't destroy it, because if we destroy it, I think it loses that power cell. That one power cell. <laughs> and that one power cell is what's going to make it not operational anymore. So, can't take the power off of that like that. But even though I have access denied. Yeah, it's access denied. I think I'm still drawing power from it. Otherwise, I mean, if, if my both batteries on recharge, then they can't operate this, sh this, this rover whatsoever. But since it's on recharge, I am thinking that it is, yeah, I think it's actually grabbing it. The only other problem is <laughs> that thing's a static grid, so I can't even drive off right now. Can I convert the ship? There you go. All right, that worked out. Perfect. So, not even sure how much is in here. I don't, if I grind it down some more, I'm probably going to take a power cell out, which I don't want to do. Because we're not going to get it back. So, we're going to get our power this way. Both our batteries are recharging, and we don't have no other source of power. So, the four batteries are going to help drive us for now. <laughs> as oddly as that sounds. But, I mean, that's not too, too bad. We should have made it a little higher, if anything. But, because uh, we're likely going to break if we move around a little too much. Okay, so let's, let's see. Oop, why did I hit park? <laughs> did not mean to do that. Alright, so it's on yellow. Can I run into it? Yeah, we could. Oh, but of course it's not going to work out that well. Um, can increase the strength. Shouldn't probably do too much. Oops. Okay. <laughs> um, screw it. <laughs> we don't need this. Oh, I was able to get it to the point. Okay. Hmm, is it still worth gathering? Probably not. Whatever. 
hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did please hit that thumbs up like the video if you haven't done so yet don't forget to subscribe to the channel feel free to drop a comment down below and of course i'll see you guys next time bye